Hi guys, it's Bob from Greybeard Models. Welcome back to the channel. And a uh, bit of progress on the on the uh, lifeboat. And uh, I think the easiest thing to do is just get over to the bench and have a look and see see how we've gone. Uh, we've made a bit of progress. We're in the home stretch, which is great. But enough of me waffling. Let's go and have a look. Right, so looking through all the sort of bits and pieces that I've been putting together, one of the things that uh, I spotted, and I'm going to need a point of stick for this, um, and I hope this comes out, is this, this part here. This is part 30, um, and they coloured it bronze, which I'll put a note there. Uh, but one of the things that I did notice is this part 30, which goes in there um, I went through all the parts and there only seems to be one which is one that I've got here which is what I've got here and this is painted a sort of bronze color right so having gone through <laughs> through this I'm, I should have mentioned this in the last video if I don't know um, but that was part that was section seven Sorry about this flicking through all the pages. But I did notice that in section 14, where there's all these sort of starting to add uh, details to the side of the, the, the superstructure there, that there's another part here, up here, and this is part 30. But it doesn't appear to be a second one. Um, been through the bits. Um, you know, there was nothing missing, you know, all of that sort of thing. So effectively, in the kit, there's only one. Now, I suppose you could get in touch with uh, Airfix and see if they've got any spares. Uh, personally, um, I've looked at it and I thought, well, I'll do a drawing of it. I don't know if that's come out. But that's a sort of rough sketch of what the part is, having measured the bit that I've just dropped. Hold on one second. That's all right, I found it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so having measured that, uh, I then went to my stock of uh, evergreen strip and, and whatnot, and come up with this packet this is evergreen strip their packet number 217 and it's rod and assorted tube um, I bought this from a company called Eileen's Emporium um, they're no longer in business so God knows how long I've had this but anyway going through the parts of, in there and what I found is I've got a a sort of three millimetre diameter piece of tubing, um, which is, if I measure it, sorry, I'm just going off camera, just measuring it. It's actually just a little bit, o uh, just a little bit over three, so it could be three and a half millimetres, which I measured to be the the fatter diameter of of that piece, and then there's an another piece of plastic that comes in the set, which actually fits in there which having measured this so this is a part that is approximately two millimeters in diameter which again which is what I measured that at. so I think putting the two of these together I can actually scratch build that so rather than going on uh, on to uh, airfix and trying to establish whether they've got spares or whatnot um, bag of evergreen strip work it all out put it together and I should be able to come up with a reasonable fabrication of that part so I'm quite happy with that anyway I'll get on and do that and then uh, we'll get it under paint and all the rest of the old doodads and then when we come to assemble the hull you'll see you'll see what I mean and I think you'll find it unless you really knew you probably wouldn't realize it was a, a scratch beat part a crap scratch built part there Anyway, moving swiftly on. Well, moving swiftly on. Um, <laughs> we'll cut this uh, piece of foam out. Uh, it was an old piece that I had sitting around, so that'll do. And uh, 
that sort of cut out to accommodate the boat there's room on this side so I think this is this is the side where um, I'm gonna have somebody in the water here or you know somebody in distress um, so we've got that cut out um, I've got to add the extra parts onto the rear of this and before I do all of that I've still got to carry on with painting the hull but that will go on that will go on there and then um, what I'll do is before that all happens I'll get some uh, tin foil down and that will give me my wave effects so I'll I'll get that stuck on there and then we'll cut a cut a sort of slot into the into the foil so that the boat sits in it and then we'll do do some work just to make sure that fits properly but that's that's where we're going at the moment so onwards and upwards it's more things being done more painting to do so I'm back on the paint jobs and uh, I'll be back in a minute and so these are the the batch of the last parts that need to be painted it's basically the railings and all the gubbins that sort of sticks out of the boat um, so they're all in primer uh, they've got to be top coated and all that all that shenanigans and uh, then they're then it would be final assembly and uh, we'll, have, we'll have got there so anyway onwards right so finally got the, the sort of cabin and, and all that sort of stuff in place and all of the sort of internals You've got the the crew member in there and uh, there's a couple of little bits uh the seat cover on that orange box that's got to go on because i knocked that off as i was putting it in place so i'll, I'll get that in and there's also uh, a a rail to go in i think it's i think it's beside that seat there um there's a there's an upright sort of handle to go in um, and I did because it was just sort of one piece sticking up I, I didn't really want to knock it so anyway so that's all that's all pretty much in place now so the next stage is to put put the sort of sides on and and then start on the externals uh, before I go any further I want to paint the detail along these the edges of the hole here um, these are all in white so I'm going to sit and and pick those out I'll have to hand paint those um, it, it, it's no point masking painting that I'll, I'll get in and hand paint them which would be fine and then that's that's that so that's that's coming along nicely um, obviously um, I say obviously you don't know that obviously but I haven't put the I haven't put the details on the underside, uh, the propellers and rudders and, and whatnot. Um, and there's also sort of um, parts on the on the rear of the hull here. Um, and the reason for that is, I think in my scenario that I've got in my head, um, it, you won't see any of that. So rather than put them on and get them broken and, and all of that, um, I'll probably end up keeping them in a little box or a little tub and uh, yeah I just go, go into the spares bin um, as unused but um, yeah so that's coming along I better show you where we're at with the sea so the seascape now um, I've got the foil on gave it a coat of, of matte um, probably need to give it um, another coat of primer to be honest because there's still areas that are quite shiny although 
you know, a shiny sea and all that. Um, so there's there's the boat going in, and I don't I don't want to push it in too far yet because I'm just just sort of get everything lined up really. Um, obviously, there there is the hole there, but I need to sort of form that down, and then once that's in place. Um, as you can see from the back here, or maybe not, as you can see from the back, um, all of the detail um, would disappear underwater. Um, so I'm not really worried about putting all that on. Um, so what I'll do is uh, get this in place um, once I've got nearer to the end, and then we start doing more on the seascape with sort of waves and foam and whatnot. Um, and then... On this side, um, I have actually got a figure and the remains of a small boat that I can use, and he can be the the you know the victim that they're picking up. But yeah, so like I say, there's still more painting to do. This kit just seems to be endless, endless painting, um, and lots of different stuff. So it, it, it you know it's. It's odd, I suppose, because I'm used to sort of boat, not boats, but, you know, armoured vehicles or aircraft. And I know the sequence in which they go, and this is this is a little bit odd. But I'm quite happy with the progress. It's, it's getting there. And, uh, yeah, so that's where we are at the moment. More parts to go on, more parts to be finished. And... We'll see where we go. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. And bye for now.